dead here today because it looks like you fell from heaven. Okay, that was a bad pickup line. But I am legitimately curious how you all got here today because I bet that it was in fossil fuel powered vehicles. Fossil fuels produce carbon dioxide, which is the leading cause in global warming, just having catastrophic effects worldwide. Generally speaking, we know this. So why do we still use fossil fuel powered vehicles? It's because there's no alternative, but there needs to be because that lifestyle is unsustainable. That's where my research comes in. I investigate alternative fuels, specifically hydrogen gas. If you look at the slide behind me, you'll see fossil fuels depicted on the top and hydrogen gas shown on the bottom. You'll see that fossil fuels consist of carbon and hydrogen. It's the carbon in the fossil fuels that produces carbon dioxide when they're burnt. Hydrogen doesn't have this carbon, so you can think of it as all the energy minus the pollutants. This is great, so why don't we use hydrogen gas? The reason for that is actually in the name. Hydrogen gas is in fact a gas. Gases are a lot more difficult to deal with than liquids, and in particular, they're a lot more difficult to store, and especially hydrogen, because it's the lightest gas in the known universe. For my doctoral project, I studied materials to store hydrogen gas. In particular, I studied carbon nanomaterials. Those are small carbon, nano, sorry, small carbon materials with a honeycomb structure, like the one highlighted in yellow on my slide. I looked at these materials for three reasons. One, they're cheap. Everybody wants a cheap car. Two, they're light. That's great for fuel efficiency. And three, the property that I really care about is there are a lot of different varieties. See, the thing with hydrogen, because it's a gas and because it's so light, is it's really stubborn. Think of it like a friend that you want to use Match.com, or in my case, ChemicalMatch.com. You can convince them to do it even if they're a picky dater, but only if there's a really good potential option on the site a potential partner who has all the properties that they're looking for. It's the same with hydrogen gas. You can get it to stick to a material, but only if that material has all the properties that hydrogen's looking for, something that it really wants to stick to. As a computational chemist, I modeled literally thousands of materials to find the one with the properties that are most desirable to hydrogen gas. Once these materials are fully developed, they can be put in the fuel tank of a vehicle to attract hydrogen gas into the tank when you fuel up. So, hopefully when someone asks you how you got to 3MT2020, in addition to saying that you fell from heaven, you can say in a hydrogen-powered vehicle. Thank you very much.